Hi viewers. Kate's just fallen through the chair. <laughs> Only Matilda is caring for me. She looks, she looks deeply concerned. It was David's fault. He started ripping the chair last week. <laughs> I was just about to sit on that then as well. I can't get out. I can get out. <laughs> <laughs> he has to stay in there. Now. David, help Kate. You bastard. Okay, you Hi everyone. I've been making videos all the time, every time I come, and then never editing them. And every time I come, I say, um, I'll edit this one, and then I won't put the other ones up because it won't make any sense. And then um, I never do. So, oh shit. So, um, potentially, I'll edit this one and put clips of all the other ones in as well. I don't know. But, right, this allotment. You're a joke, allotment. We are not here every day. I'd be lying if I said I was here every day. I'd be lying if I said I was here every other day. But we are here at least two days a week. And when we come, we're here for the full day. And look at my allotment. What the hell? You know, am I cultivating different types of grass? Because that's the only thing that's coming up. We did this last week. This, a lot, this flower bed took us 10 hours and we did it to death. It's like three separate days doing this to death and look at it. We've not finished that bit yet. Um, this bed is one of the ones we just, we did strim that and haven't done it properly yet. But all the others have been done at some point. Potatoes, th there is stuff going on in the beds. Potatoes plus weeds. Potatoes, ochre, plus weeds. And just look at this, I'm, I'm absolutely fed up of it now. I've not been putting any videos up because I'm just feeling like completely fed up with the place. I know allotments are meant to be hard work, but I've had an allotment before and my other allotment was in a lot worse condition when I took it on. But it didn't look like some sort of nature reserve. Um, here's the carrot bed. Let's have a laugh. I weeded this two weeks ago and I have been trying to keep on top of the weeds but then because of all the rain... Oh, can we spot any carrots, viewers? I can see about three, two or three and a field of weeds. I've got no parsnips coming up. They must have just drowned in the rain. Um, so, David's had to stay at home with Matilda for a bit because she's been the devil today so when they come back later we're going to cut down those front two patches and just cover them with weed suppressant fabric and just forget that it's a shithole under there for now and then because the squashes are going on the top of this bed I'm not going to have time to we're not we're just not going to get it done it's not going to be weeded by hand properly this year it isn't because it's all bindweed there's grass with bindweed wrapped around it so that you know that'll take weeks so we're not got time so we're going to cut it down i have ordered shears but i don't know if they're going to be here in time i've ordered new shears because my other ones have gone blunt so we're just going to cut it down to the ground cover it and then the squashes are going on top in grow bags and then i have to actually weed a section properly for the sweet corn um this i don't even know what's meant to be going in these beds i can't remember anymore i've given up with the plan this is a bed we did weed. We did. We've done it. Um, and it's all back. We weeded it very well. Um, here's my surprise artichokes that I don't particularly want. Here's our brassicas. There are brassicas and then there are a lot of weeds. Look, savoy cabbages coming up. Swedes coming up. And then we've got like, you know, scatterings of weeds everywhere. Sorry if I sound like a miserable bitch, but I am. I'm in a bitter mood. What the hell? Are these carrots or weeds? Probably weeds. Don't know. Well, they, what, they are what I thought carrots were in my other bed, so... I don't know what it is. Probably not carrots. Um, here's my onion bed that we... We keep weeding and we keep weeding. And they just come back again, don't they? Um, so you spend all your life weeding them. Oh. oh, and then what? And then what happens? They go to seed. So then they're useless anyway. So if you've got any onions and you're producing these on top, 
then they're knackered and you need to pull them up and try and use what's there before they're absolutely ruined. So I'll have to go through and pick all the ones that have gone to seed up. We've gone to seed because of the bits of warm weather we have had, even though it's just been raining most of the time. So I don't know. I'll potentially get this bit done today, but I don't know. This has been done over the last... This section at least has been done a few times in the last month. So next time I grow onions, it's got to be through some sort of mesh. But again, I grew them last year like this with no issues. There was weeding that needed to be doing, but it wasn't like on this industrial scale. Um, the only bed that looks somewhat like an allotment is this bed. We have weeds on it, but not as bad as the wildflower meadow that is the rest of our plot. We've got runner beans, we've got monge too, shallots, broad beans. French beans that are getting ruined and rinsed by the slugs. Um, peas, there's some snow peas. Tried about six times planting peas. They, d they don't come up or they get eaten, I don't know. Oh, I did have blueberries come in the other day, but something looks like they've eaten them. This I weeded about a month ago. Um, strawberries I cut back a week, two weeks ago. So today the main job again is to cut back all the strawberries and actually put the straw underneath them and newspaper. Um, here's another bed that has been done to death. Like, and I'm not, I'm just not exaggerating. I know it sounds like I'm exaggerating, but I'm not. This was done two weeks ago very thoroughly. Really, really thoroughly. This, we, this one looks all right. We spent the full day last Tuesday Weeded, well, David did most of it, cutting it all back, weeding it, and covering it all with bark so we actually have a raspberry patch. If you want to see if there's anything alive in the greenhouse. Um, flowers, still waiting to go out in the flower bed of hell. More of my nature reserve here, my national park. I think I should start getting paid by the government for saving all of the animals and bees. Right. Here we go, we have peas, some peas are coming up, some flowers that are getting eaten. Every one of the herbs has failed three times. So fuck you herbs, I'm not doing herbs. Butternut squash, they don't seem to be coming up, I've tried twice. I might have to just resign myself to not having any butternut squash. Patty pan squash, they're alright. Listen to the positivity. Um, what is this in here? Crown Prince squash there. Have they only got one Crown Prince squash? Hmm, it's not fab, is it? Oh god. That was my kale. It was my kale. Look at it. Leeks. Homeless leeks. I have to try and create somewhere for those to go today. I'm not entirely sure where the rest of my Crown Prince squash have gone. You snail, get out. I had more. They're gone. <laughs> um, oh shit. I don't know where they are. Um, let's see. These are... Are these sweet corn? They're sweet corn. They're popcorn. And they're all homeless, so... You know? Sorry guys, we'll, we'll, we will sort it out. So, I've got some news. More positive news. I'm pregnant! So I've also not been here as much as I'd like because um, I've needed quite a bit of a few tests and stuff done and um, extra scans and all that sort of stuff. So that's been having to be done on David's days off. So it means I've not been getting here for the full day. Um, so yeah, pregnant with baby number two who is due on the 2nd of December. So, um, right. I'm going to stop going on because I'm just like already doing nothing by just talking to you. So I'm going to um, tackle the strawberry bed, try and focus my attentions on one bed and then when David gets here try and help him cut back and cover another bed and then I'll hoe that bed today and potentially try and do some of this bed so I'll put the leaks in here if there's space. 
and I will get over myself now so sorry you're just watching me be negative I will cheer up okay I'm sorry sorry for being an ab absentee allotment video maker I'll get I'll get a grip and put some more effort in I'll see you later hello okay it's been about an hour of um, cutting back and weeding um, I've done about I don't know just over half of the strawberry the strawberries I've just cut the grass down pulled out as many weeds as I can um, then covered it with newspaper and straw trying to prop up the strawberries a bit finding quite a lot of red strawberries but then um, 80% of them have got big holes in for the slugs so I'm just going to go against my common sense and put some um, a few, a couple of slug pellets around the outside of the bed because it's just getting a joke like here's some, let's have a laugh I can see the snails down there no, actually no, there's no holes, oh there are there are holes in it Attending to the jungle that is the strawberry bed. The snail and grass sanctuary. This bed is done, it's looking good. I might even pull it out properly by the roots because it's just going to pull up all the strawberry plants. I don't know why there's random horrible dead strawberries like that. Hello. Saying hi, Tilds. Say hello, Tilds. Got crispies. <laughs> Treat day. You okay, loving life. Obviously, we did this last time we came. This is um, we covered it with wood, but already the grass is coming through because we didn't bother putting anything beneath it. But at least the berries will grow. That's what I think, anyway. Because there's no way the grass can get through all this wood and be as tall as these raspberry plants now. Are they raspberry plants? Yeah, that's blue plants. We'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. The rest of plants. I didn't really know. I just knew there was something and berry plants. You know where you've, just, you know, they're all kind of the same kind of looking plant. I know there's a blackberry over here, a spiky one. Blackberry, but these are all smooth. They're all smooth on the um, branch stick um, stem thingy-majig. So I'm presuming they're not going to be blackberries. <laughs> That one, yeah, that one, that's um, blackberry. Spiky, spiky. Snail. Matilda's on snail guard today. <laughs> snail, say snail. Where's the snail? Stop me. Stop, Stop it, snail. snail. Man. Come on, snail. Say snail. Come on, snail. We're not giving these ones kisses. Only the ones at home. Word to sum up allotment today, Ames? Hate. Hate. <laughs> Sponsored by the letter hate today. <laughs> hate, yeah. Hate. Um, you know where I'd rather be? Swimming. Ice skating. Tunisia. Hate, Tunisia, my <laughs> mum. Doing anything else that normal people do on a day off. But we're here, so I'll get a grip. Yeah. I'd, um, oh, here's another snake. I had an act of... Um, kindness before our next door neighbour, I'm sure he won't mind me showing him but look at all these here he's got loads of really big ones and this one here possibly the biggest strawberry I think I've ever seen it's about nearly two inches, and two and a half inches in length and it had a massive, absolutely massive um, snail on it, so I got rid of it um, I'll leave that there pride and joy, I presume pride and joy he's got the right idea, he's got the straw as well so we're copying, and we have no score, no score. But when we've done that bit, we have to do all this bit up to the brassier cage where we've done already. Amy in the wilderness, looking like a lion. <laughs> that was like an interesting dibber, Ames. Hello, viewers. I'm planting out the leeks. The leeks are not meant to go here. They're meant to. Oh, crap! She's run off. They're meant to be going in one of the um, front patches, but it isn't done. So they're going in the spare bit that I've dug over. Um, for leeks, you have to leave a big hole 
and then drop your little leek seedling into it and then fill them fill up the hole with water and how big your hole is eventually the leek will grow outwards to reach that thickness so um, yeah here's all my leek seedlings they've got out of control I'm not going to plant all these so you just get them and then you pop them in and then you water them and that's about it we think you'll agree we've made some real progress today yep. leeks are in I'm just going to plant some courgettes into them grow bags um, and then when the, when the patch is done I'm going to drag the grow yeah. bags in there Should we see the strawberry bed now that no, we've done? No. We need no, to fill it in a bit to make it look aesthetically pleasing, but other than no. that, it's fine. Yeah. Looks very nice. No. Ample amounts of fruit. All the fresh fruit have been pulled by yours dearest, haven't they? Look at the strawberries around your face. And that's looking good over there. Generally, I think this back bit, even though there's quite a lot of grass, is looking alright, I think. Yeah, it's alright. That's just the front hell hole. No! Yay! Tilt's eating all the shit. So we're going home. Uh-huh. In a minute after I've done the courgettes. Go. Go. And I'll attempt to edit this video. I just want to eat. You're saying bye, Tilt. Root. Say fruit. Fruit. Fruit galore everywhere. Fruit. Strawberries. 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 <laughs> what are they? Aya. Aya. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Good morning. It's Sunday morning. We're here at the allotment. It's sunny. Tilda's eating a fruit, including her strawberries that we picked. I've saved some today so that she's not going to eat them all. They're in there. Actually, I'll show you through the window on the other side. Today, we've had an email from the allotment secretary saying we need to sort our weeds out, which we obviously knew anyway. So um, here's the shears that I ordered the other day, and here's David using the shears. So David needs to go to the meadow at the front, not the back. So we don't get thrown off our plot. So that's the aim of today before we go round to David's parents for his dad's birthday. Here's where Lily the other day. What are you doing? Blueberries. Is the lid stuck? Okay, so that was a very, very brief video today. We didn't have time to film anything. Um, gotta go now and quickly go home and go to David's parents for his dad's birthday so I'll show you what we've done. We now look like we have a front of an allotment. Ignore the flower beds, you know it's a work in progress. Look! These two beds, this one has just been cut down with the shears and raked and you know David attempted to cover it up a bit. So then next time we'll dig a square out in the middle for the sweet corn and cover it all with fabric. This one we have Cut, this was the worst one, it was a joke, I should have filmed us doing it. Um, it was like that high in grass. So we've cut it down with the shears, dragged a lot of it out with the rakes. We did circles under where each of the squash had been planted, but I've not weeded it properly. It's probably going to grow back through, but we had to get it covered and we had to get something in the ground this year. Um, it's blowing about a bit, so next time I'm here I'm going to gonna get some more tent pegs in a minute from the shop so that next time I'm here we can um, secure it a bit more but I think it's it looks a hell of a lot better so I'm impressed with our work it's like yeah we, under like sort of these bits there is grass cut right down but grass but then under where the plants actually are we've weeded like a circle um, so these three plants these three are crown prince squash and the other six are patty pan squash which I was meant to grow vertically but then I had nothing else to put in this bed so they're in here. Um, I thought I squashed that one. It's probably dead. We'll see. Um, 
What else? No, it's my non-organic slug pellets. I'm sorry. Organic community. I've let myself down. But I just don't want the slugs getting anything else. And we had them in the shed, so they're being used. So yeah, this is what we've done today. So I'm just going to water them and then go and get the bus. We'll be here on Tuesday to do that one. And then, after that's done, it's literally... Now this looks a mess because of all the artichokes. But beyond there, it's just onions, brassicas, strawberries, peas and beans, raspberries and leeks. That bit is done. It's done apart from weeds in the brassica tunnel and in the onions. And here are our two remaining hell beds. But we're going to do the same with them, put them all down and cover them. This one's going to have popcorn in and I've actually not got anything for that one so it might just stay covered or I'll put salad in it or something. This needs doing again. Carrots that are not there. But potatoes are looking good. Everything else is looking good. So I better go home or I'm going to miss my bus. So adios. See you next time. Mm -hmm.